You are listening to RockSlamRadio.com. From all studios to the world, we bring you the finest in quality entertainment. So grab a groupie, throw some horns, and settle in for another fine show from RockSlamRadio.com. How's everybody out there in Radio Land? This is David J. Rocks the J. Radio Show on Rock Slam Radio, which is part of uh, Talk Wad. If you like that, you're going to like the call in number two, all you people out there, because we want the callers in here. We've got the Love Dogs on. Here's Joey. Here's Wayne hey. and Lance. We What's got happening, th- peeps? Yeah, we got three of the five. Raven and Show. How you pronounce that, Joey? His name is uh, Sills. <laughs> what was that? Show I got show his, but but not uh, here. Yeah, Mr. Sills is not available this evening. <laughs> Mr. Sills. Okay, well wait, that's a missing person. But of course we got. He's got high Fra- blood pressure. Frankie V over here, baby. Frankie V, a main man, main uh, announcer. He's big time. He's New York. No, Philly, New York. North Philly. Shit, man. Hell with hell with New, New York, York Philly. man. Philly. It's hey, did they get some most- Come Why on. Why did I come in and listen to you guys? I mean, <laughs> listen, you can't hear anything. This is a disaster. I have a question right off the bat, Dave. Yes. Like, why is the bell out of my reach? That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> Stop the tunes, man. This is a game show. We're winning here. This is the band that can beat all the bands in the battle of the bands. And I know Muhammad would like that. That is the... Love dogs. Now, <laughs> how do you say that, dude? We're going to use you for the intro. You know, uh, that's what it's going to be. Uh, do you want me to mention the, the previous name? Uh, no. no, no, no. We we don't want. Okay, we won't go back there because that's what I knew. <laughs> we want to move forward. We're moving forward, Only man. Moving we're moving forward. forward and making it happen. And so again, you know, we're very pleased to have our guests on our guest band, Love Dogs, with Frankie V. Man, These, this is a happening show, man. This is the most happening show here on Sunday. We try to keep ever, it as ever, 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 and we try to keep it as clean as possible. But we're fucking <laughs> no, we dirty. No, we, we wanted don't. some beer we up there, man. Want to keep it as they they as didn't possible. have any beer cakes for <laughs> us. Peace hell, man. That <laughs> <laughs> was such a good day. I gotta promote this when I leave. How am I gonna do this, Dave? It's not gonna be clean. What did he say down there? I gotta promote you guys when I leave. <laughs> He's the promoter, man. And the producer, too, man. We need that. We need that money coming in here, friends and neighbors, and send those cards and keep them on coming. Syndication starts with sin. You know it, man. C I N. We need to get that in here so we can pay for the baby shoes. I'm telling you what, this is Rock Slam Radio, and we're just kind of making Well, We work with the independent artists around here in Tampa Bay, man. And uh, hey, let me tell you, that's, that's what it's at. You know, we try to stay away from the labels, but I I'll tell you what, we'll take a label anytime as long as there's money up front and that contract is steady, baby. But we will not sell our souls to the devil. Yeah, we will keep our artistic purity as well as we can, but we will get a haircut if the commercial aspects tell us to, right? I would, Hell no, man. I would. No fucking way. I ain't cutting my hair. No way, man. You know, for that. But anyway, let's get on with a little bit of the news here. This is Rock the J News. Uh, we got the the roll, uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is happening right now. We just Both. had a discussion about that here earlier, too. How many people are pissed off like me that Kiss is not, once again, not in... Very. Yeah. It's just not right. I'm very. We've discussed this. Anybody listening, we've decided to burn down one wing of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for Ooh. every year that mm-hmm. Kiss is not inducted. We're just trying to figure out how to stop it at the one wing. We're, We're going to build a firewall first. Yeah. So we'll come in there and build a yeah. firewall. <laughs> Set it on fire, baby. We're going to make it happen with that guitar, too, man. The drummer's going to beat it out, and then it's going to be smoking hot. Everybody's going to dig it, and Kiss will get in there. Hey, it was a big thing with Rush, man. You know, uh, he's been nominated since, well, it was 1998, you know, and, and they never got inducted. But let me tell you, they're leading no right makeup. now. There's yeah. no makeup involved. Well, you know, is, right? you're a Canadian, man. They must be prejudiced. It's <laughs> nationalistic. Plus, I don't there's only think three so, of them. man. But anyway, uh, they were just here in Tampa yesterday. I uh, didn't get a chance to go backstage. Hey, get those backstage passes made, man. I need to get some of those boys on here. Yeah, we're going to rock it out here. Rock Slam Radio is going to the top. We're taking over Pinellas County. 
And let me tell you, Frankie V knows all about that. Frankie V, uh, you know, he, he gets into a lot of different shows here on the umbrella of uh, talkwad.com. And so uh, That's because tell us of your influence, I get around. My influence. I'll tell you, I met uh, Frankie V, we all, you know, uh, the other day. Yeah, I mean, he comes in there, he's passing out cards and stuff. And I'll tell you, man, I'll tell you, I dig this hell, man. I ain't putting them on cards just like down there on e-board in those parking lots. You know, you got the, the mojo people putting them on there. You look at, what the hell is that? You know, and, and they're doing it all the time. It's a good thing, a way, a good thing, a good thing to happen. What I'm getting on the street is what is happening with Highway 41. Highway 41, you will hear that at some point in time. That was one of my songs. And the love bugs, I, I did not. <laughs> love bugs get on that windshield, but these are the love dogs, man. I, I, I got I mindset. Knew. I just collected $500 because of that. Ooh. Yeah, I bet on Ooh. it. <laughs> I knew he was going to say love here. bugs at some point in time. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, that's part. Of, that's one of the words in my song. You know, we got it right there. I tell you, I was mindset on that for a while. But let me tell you, some of the, the uh, inductees, as opposed to the nominees now, inductees, uh, you know, are actually the ones that get in. And uh, t- there's only going to be five of them, uh, and the fans are going to decide this year. Uh, there is a nuclear group of professional artists that will filter. Uh, the, the groups that I'm going to be talking about, but five only get in this year. Uh, right now, Rush and Poco Harum are in the lead. Now, the nominees are Albert King, Chick, Deep Purple, Donna Summer, Hart, Joan Jett, and the Blackhearts, Kraftwerk, the Marvelettes, the Meters, NWA, Paul Butterfield Blues Man, Poco Harum, Public okay. Enemy, Randy Newman, and Rush. And, of course, Rush, you know, was first uh, nominated in 1998, and the fans really were, have been upset ever since because, you know, they want the, they want them to be, they want Rush to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because they're, they're so up on it. And you know what Rush thinks? They say, hey, look, you know, we love our fans. That's what they want, and we want the fans to get what they want out of what we do in that. And so, you know, I thought that was amazing because I know a lot of the artists, like, for example, Jack White at the Radio City Music Hall, you know, he played for, like, 50 minutes, but he didn't like the, the audience response. You know, he, what he does instead of motivating the audience, he heckles them. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, and he points people out that he doesn't like. So he gets a negative response, but somehow that turns into applause and the energy that he wants. And what happened was he didn't get what he wanted from the audience. And everybody around said, hey, man, they were really fired up and really into the show. And it was scheduled to be a two hour show. And he walked off after 50 minutes. And they went into a riot scene. They were cursing it down and were breaking up and hitting I 100 think that's, cars. That's what, you know, that's it, what brings change is riots. And, and you ask yourself, I why always, Sandy hit New York, man? I, always, I mean, they were pointing time, and Jack White walked I off the stage. I advocate man. riots for social change. How that's what I do. How does he get the positive effect off of it? Does he have to have one company to another company on top of another company? How does I this work? Know. I got no way, but we're looking for companies, man. I need sponsors and advertisers. <laughs> <laughs> Send those cards and letters in here. Seven two seven five nine seven four zero two two. Hey man, and and hey, fans yeah. are going to decide who goes into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You, I don't. I can right. only speak for myself. I can't, I can't speak for my bros here. But like when I think rock and roll, the first two names that pop into my mind are NWA and Donna Summer. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat, yeah. fucking Donna Summer is responsible. <laughs> craft for work the is That's third. Right. Craft <laughs> work is third. She is responsible for yeah. why I am going. I've I've dedicated my life to rock and roll. That's the reason why. Yeah. Don why does Summer. it take so many years for somebody Last like Donna Summer? Why does it take her so many years to get so much recognition? Why is not a question. Uh, no. Like, come on. I don't know why. How should I know? But anyway. Uh, Can somebody answer this question here, please? It's going to be in L.A., man. It's going to be at the Nokio Theater. What is the question? The question is, what the hell is going on in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, man? Uh, why does Donna Summer take 500 years to get recognized? Oh, man, she's hot, dude. <laughs> She's Nobody also dead. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, man, I don't even know, man. She's, she's still dead. alive. Yeah, Donna she Summer's died. Donna Summer's dead. Donna Summer's dead. I keep about thinking about her, man. Ago. Yeah. I see her. Wow. Her, uh, she's around here. I have a show, too. I want to know the answer to this. Crazy. Hey, we have a caller. Oh. Oh. Hey, you got to turn down your computer. We can hear you, but it's kind of like a Chinese uh, <laughs> alien computer type voice right now. Oh, oh man! Yeah, no. like somebody you was know hot. why? Because that woman was Chinese, and you offended her. <laughs> I did not. I love all Chinese women. <laughs> Are we still? Oh, okay, on. they're coming back on. Not, coming back not, on. Not physically. I don't like actually <laughs> love on all, all Chinese women, on but you know, I like it. <laughs> all right, caller, who's the caller out there? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Is that your name? Hello. What's your name, honey? 
Kaylin Bishop. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no relatives are allowed to call into the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have said Kaylin Smith. Yeah, yeah. Kaylin Smith. <laughs> Are you enjoying the show, off. baby? Yes, I am. Uh, is... Me, Uncle Jimmy, James, everybody sitting here watching you. Oh, my God. You're probably the only ones, yeah. really, honestly. <laughs> Good rating Do you advocate riots for social change, Kaylin? Did I have to be white? Do you act? <laughs> Do you advocate riots for social change? Of course. Okay, that's all. I'm Only if that. the performer doesn't stay on the stage for two hours, man. They better stay on that stage, but you know, and play it out, you know. And don't go acoustic because they don't want to hear Jack White in acoustic with a ten-man backup set. You know, no. he had no. a great time though, but he straightened up afterwards, and that, and that was before Sandy. So you know, it's all been erased, and that. But you know, Sandy changed everything. You know it, man. Changed life as we know it. Kayla, do you have a question, love? Well, hey, I'll tell you. Can a caller get a word in edgewise? You can. You, you can. Call Not likely. <laughs> you can get a word in edgewise. Ready? Go. Yeah, take a microphone. Hey, what's up, brother Joe, man? I'm, you know Joe. what? I'm loving life. Things are great here. We, For once, the hurricane missed our ass. Hey, I'll tell you what. I know all y'all, except the drummer, but <laughs> if y'all pull this drummer in, he must be awesome. And I'll tell you what. I want to hear some originals out of y'all. There's... There's way too much talent on this band. Yeah, I want to hear some originals. Sir. We I got some originals coming. Huh? We got some originals coming. Well, we we do plan on working on originals. We do actually have a couple, uh, you know, uh, originals that Lance and I. In mm -hmm. particular, have written that we're very proud of and that we've played live and people seem to like. And uh, if there's one thing I really love, it's doing what people like, so they scream for me. So, <laughs> and yeah, you're right, Wayne. Wayne is awesome. Yeah, he is. He's a great drummer. We're very, very happy to have him. We're very lucky to have found him. Thanks, guys. Uh, he fits in great. Um, I'd love to, you know, let out some some news about what we have going, uh, and we will as the interview goes on. But yes, originals are in this band's future, as it was in the last project, and uh, we're just looking for a whole lot of uh, love and support like we've been receiving from you guys. Sweet, Raven, Lance, Soaky, love y'all, bro. Love, love you too, too man. <laughs> All right, Dynamite Callers. Hey, let's keep those calls coming on in here. We love to have the callers out there. And let's get back to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Again, the voting is going on now on rollingstone.com until December 3rd. Again, the actual show is going to be April 18, 2013 at the L.A. Nokia Theater. It's the first time since 1993. Usually the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame show itself is done in New York City at the Waldorf Astoria. So that was very fortunate that was moved to Los Angeles and that with the storm. Oh, again, if you got any questions about what it takes, well, again, it takes a band 25 years to be together, not counting the criteria to be a number one songs in that over a period of 25 years. So, again, it's very awesome. And anybody in a band in a local area, independent setting, will know, you know, to stay together that long in a band setting is unreal and, and is deserving of that kind of a Hall of Fame. Absolutely. We were talking earlier. It's like uh, it's, it's hard enough to keep a band together for like 25 weeks, let alone 25 years. You're, you're getting more. Uh, <clears throat> you're getting more recognition down at the bunker. This guy's getting calls for you. The bunker. The bunker. Hell, I couldn't even get in the Friday. I, they didn't send the limousine for me. I drove around for an hour. They had the damn marathon going on down there. All the spots were taken up. I was four blocks away, ten dollars a pop, man, and I had to carry an amp and a guitar. Forget it, baby. The send a limo a from me, babe. The whole area is a ripoff. That works every time when I uh, when I request a limo. They always send it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right there. <laughs> and, and then with beer stocking and, yeah. and a couple of the girls down there, and we'll get out and have a good old time, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> All right, now uh, let's get back to something a little bit more uh, current. It has to do with Springsteen lead stars in the Sandy uh, benefit. Again, a Hurricane Sandy show coming together. They have Christine Aguilera. Uh, Christina's from Staten Island. There was a picture of Christina with her new husband in that. And somebody on Facebook commented about her body style. And let me tell you, I jumped on it in a heartbeat, man. Because you don't know, man, that girl is gorgeous. She's a great singer. Don't even talk about if she has jumped gained, on Christine Aguilera's I, I, body. In my dreams. In All my right. dreams. <laughs> but she is gorgeous in that. And, uh, again, stay positive, man. Again, she was a part of this uh, benefit uh, called uh, Coming Together. Uh, for a Hurricane, Stan, Hurricane Sandy show, uh, Billy Joel was there from Long Island. Alvon Jovi uh, flew over from England immediately to get with his New Jersey crew. And, of course, Bruce Springsteen is from New Jersey as well. 
And these were hometown people, man. They were supporting the people for recovery, uh, uh, so sending in money, getting the food together there for the Sandy uh, victims and that. Uh, some of the data I collected on that is uh, I do believe uh, there were 88 fatalities uh, there uh, in that. Uh, yeah, 88 deaths. There were 50, $50 billion in damages. 100 homes in Queens were burnt to, a, to the ground from Sandy. So. This is a very devastating thing. It's a sad thing for a great part of the uh, eastern part of the United States, and that, and we really feel for you from down here in Florida because, again, we got it good down here right now weather-wise. There is no doubt. Sure. No doubt. Uh, associated with Sandy, too, I want to say that uh, the Love Dogs do have uh, a tentative uh, benefit for the Sandy victims uh, in Daytona towards the end of November. Uh, we can't release exact details yet because contracts haven't been signed. But for our, all our Daytona fans in particular, Sean, Alex, all the guys in the Lit Up crew, Gladys, well, we'll be back over there. We love you guys. David, also. Maybe. <laughs> David. David, 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 also. David. I thought David. it was that. No. What was that? Maybe you guys didn't know. But part of the way of getting economic revival and getting this human revival going, too, is when the government starts necessarily, emergency-wise, dumping money into the counties to do the repair on the homes. So this may be a way of getting a little bit of an economic recovery going on amidst a horrible situation, too. Well, hopefully the dump becomes filtered out and sent some my way, baby, because I can use it. And I'll send it up there with the guitars and all that. We could do a show up there in a heartbeat, man. Send the limo down here. We'll ride on up there and have a good yeah, old time. It's, it's on the way. It's on the way right now. <laughs> it's on the way, man. Over to Daytona and up to 95 there. Hey, a rush guitarist, man. And this is a summer note. Alex Lifeson uh, was charged with two counts of felony battery on a law enforcement officer. <laughs> Yay, Alex! In yeah. Naples, Florida, man. <laughs> yes! And that Russia was just here uh, at the amphitheater last, yesterday. Yeah, last night. Yes, last, last night, night yeah. yeah. Uh, he must have been there, man. And uh, it only, it's all been a misunderstanding, but somebody got in trouble. And, and let me tell you. So we want to. It's we always pray, a misunderstanding. You know what I mean? We want to pray always. for the. We want to pray for that whole incident. Officer, you don't understand. That, that's that's exactly new right. album. I, I know it wasn't intentional. I think somebody bumped into somebody else and somebody <laughs> fell off the stage and broke it up. But was anyway, total accident. anyway, I, I don't know guy. the facts in that, but you know, we want to you know pray for the people involved here. And of course, we know law enforcement does a marvelous job at the shows and everything. Tries to keep everything down for for people and that. So, uh, especially at the marathon yesterday. Um, no, excuse me. Yeah, what's it? Yes, now Friday and Ebor, man. There was a lot of officers all around and that. They're trying to watch out for people and that. Um, how, did Billy, how did Billy Joe get off his bed? Get to that concert. I got no clue, man. They just said he's from a uh, you know, big time or Long Island, man. You know, yeah, Billy Joe. Hip, he owns Long was, Island, hip man. Was gone, and uh, he had a lot of. Uh, what is it with aging with rockers and hip replacements? What the hell is that it's all about? Amazing, what do you do with your hips? Probably I've been I've something. been rocking and rolling a long time. My hips feel fine. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just saying out there. If any of you are wondering about my hips, they're great. They're awesome. I think something to do with the fact he was sniffing a certain amount of cocaine and he turned his head too quick to the left. <laughs> oh, my brain. Now, Rush is number one in the leading on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame now, and we hope Alex is having, uh, you know, getting himself together because those, it's not a funny thing now. Okay. All right. Now, from the Rolling Stone magazine, the weekend rock question. Does everybody want to hear the weekend? Well, hell no, we don't want to hear No, but we do. <laughs> the weekend rock question. What is the best Aerosmith song? Now again, uh, you can vote. Uh, best that definitive Smith. answer yeah, to that. Yeah, and let me. Uh, Stephen Tyler was at the benefit too, man. Hey, let me tell you, he had scheduled in Boston a, a free, uh, you know, um, music activity there on November sixth, you know, and he was going to announce the location November fifth. It didn't happen because Sandy wiped it out. So he had to, they had to, um, Aerosmith had to totally trash their plans for that in Boston and come down to uh, the New York, New Jersey area, you know, for the benefit cause, concert in that sense. You know, just that in a day or two, total things happen. And you can't mess with Mother Nature, man. It is bad. And that Nobody we fools with Mother Nature. Didn't and you ever Father see that Time, butter, man. <laughs> you see that butter commercial? I'm not yeah. fucking with her. <laughs> How come you guys don't do a double album? Single album, single album on Mother Nature. Huh? I'm in. Request time. That bitch, Mother I, I'm Nature. I'm still working on Highway 41, <laughs> yeah, man. Right. Now, love bugs are somewhere out there, man. Get them love off bugs. the windshield so I can see what's going on. <laughs> anyway, the weekend rock question is, what is the best Aerosmith song? Now, you can vote on Facebook.com forward slash Rolling Stone or go to Twitter. I hear Twitter is really great, man. Now, some of the Aerosmith songs for voting are... Uh, 
<laughs> get it straight. <laughs> get it straight and pay the price. So it's like, so it's like, okay, Dream On. <laughs> Dream On, Ragdoll, Angel, Jaded. And this one, I don't want to miss a thing, you know, from uh, Armageddon and that. So, uh, you know. Is yeah, that even their amazing. song? Is hey, I, saw song? I met Steven Tyler at the MGM Grand one year. Uh, well, I think it was 04, 05. He was coming off the uh, tire tear. He had his daughter with her, Liv Tyler. Be- I mean, it was awesome. And I made eye contact with him coming off. Nobody even knew him because he had a hat on and he had glasses on. He had a big stogie in his mouth and that. But as soon as we spotted him, you know, he said, hey, Steven Tyler. 50, 100 people started running over to him. He had a security guard with him. You know, big detective and that. And he didn't like me coming there, but I, I went in. I, I eventually got in and said, hey, Steven, I'm a big fan of yours, man. And he, he stopped. He said, shook hands with me. He said, thanks a lot, man, and went on. You know, cause I didn't want to disturb him. He was with his daughter and everything, so they were trying to have a good time. But a lot of fans followed him everywhere he went. You know, they did a lot of shopping. And that. But Steven Tyler is a very focused individual, man. He's got really big hands in that. And, uh, you know, his eyes, he is really, when you see him up close, you know, just right in your face like that, it's uh, – you know, it shows the charisma. The charisma. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. Caller. Hello. 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 Hello out there. Hello. Yeah. What's your name, guy? Uh, this is Jonathan Steelflex. Hey, what's happening, man? How you doing tonight? I'm doing good. Um, I was just letting you know that uh, I love your music, man, and I'm watching the radio show right now online, and I'm just going to tell you that y'all kick ass and. I can't wait to hear more music from y'all. Thanks, Thanks man. man. You know what? Thank That's you. what it's all about. Um, because, you know, it doesn't matter how good we are, how good we think we are. If we're not making you guys happy, then we're not doing our job. So, it, I mean, the validation is awesome. I don't. I can only speak for myself. But, Lance, Wayne, you, do you agree? Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, man. We love hearing from you guys. We love hearing it. Thanks. Hey, God, audience, God bless and, uh, yeah. rock and roll, man. Hey, thank you, man. Brother. Thank you very much, man. Keep the calls coming in and cards and letters and advertisers and sponsors. And, you know, be ready out there. Also, now I'm going to do a, the Love Bug song. No, these are the Love Dogs. But I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to do the Highway 41 thing, and you'll you'll pick up on the Love Bugs. And that yeah, is part of my lyrics. So and before you get into that segue, i got to take off. Guys, oh, man, Frankie, thanks, they, no, thanks man. Thanks for stopping thanks by. For having me. The thanks show is over now, me. as far as I'm concerned. Thanks for having me, David. It's thanks gone. for having me. And I you need can catch you, man. And you can, ca- you can catch me Thursday night right here, 6 to 9.30 p.m., Talk Slam Radio. Thank you. Guys. There you All go, right. See Frankie ya. B, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> we love you, man. <laughs> as he ducks That's under right. The, tear it up, baby. <laughs> tear it up. I tell you, we wanted as this he ducks room under the, bigger. The, the they video kept the room the same this. size, and I'm tired of this room. <laughs> Spacious <laughs> studios here in downtown Clearwater. You know it, man. You can't even move around here. You get a band in here, we're jammed against the wall. Look at what I'm doing here. I want to stand up. Okay, Highway 41. Here we go. Traveling through the forest. Tampa but bound Have no one who cares Looking for a friend Daring to be found Highway 41 Okay Going down town Bugs on the windshield Hell can't see your thing When will I ever find a friend on this damn highway going through the forest thinking that I'm nowhere bound thinking that I'm nowhere bound Highway 41 going Rain. 
rainbow shining true. Oh yeah, I see the end of my drive. City skyline coming up. City skyline coming up. Highway 41 going down town. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Highway 41, man. These are love dogs, and I did say little bugs. <laughs> yeah. That gave me goosebumps. That first. was awesome. That was really good. Oh, well, man. Well, you know, that's, uh, that's my Florida song, to get into the Will McLean Festival, you know, try to get on stage there. You got to have a lot of Florida songs down there, all original now to get in there. So I figured, you know, I was riding down 41 from, um, you know, the Hernando, uh, the uh, with Coochie Forest area. And I took 41 because it seemed to be the best way instead of going around the bat on uh, 75. So, I, you know, all these different occurrences happened. And I was usually by myself because I was there trying to get to the venues and that. And I didn't have people that, you know, I didn't have time to pick people up and take them. I said I had to get down there and go and that. So I was thinking about, you know, it was a kind of lonely drive and all the stuff that occurred mm. along the way and that. So, you know, whatever. So that's how a lot of good songs get written, don't you guys think, Clance? Yeah. Like, hey. Like, hey, who's hey. this? Hello? Hey, this is Lil from Tennessee. How y'all doing? <laughs> hey, Lil from Tennessee. How you y'all sound cute. doing? Very. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you. It's so good to see you guys on the air. Well, it's good to be seen on the air. We love it. Uh, I've got my so bell where's in front the of rest me? of y'all? Well, uh, yeah. Raven, actually, Raven is, fr- as a lot of people know, is from New York. And so Raven yeah. uh, headed out uh, either... Late tonight or tomorrow morning, from what I understand, to uh, go and render aid uh, up in New York. Yeah. Uh, Scotia well, is, is for him. Scotia is uh, <laughs> Mr. Sills is in Redneck Heaven at some bar right now. <laughs> they promised us free beer. Like everything is normal, huh? <laughs> it, no beer, man. it just didn't happen, you know. You got three fifths of the band here. Three fifths. Yeah, I see land. I, I look bald on this thing, don't I? No. <laughs> no you look awesome. You guys look awesome on here. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to hear you play again. You can't tell us anything right now, huh? Can't what? Yeah, actually, we can release a couple a, a couple things. We've got, uh, like I said, at the end of November, we're working on a, a benefit over in Daytona. Uh, at, an, uh-huh. at a uh, venue that we've been at before. I cannot name it. Uh, but uh, that looks uh, – there's going to be so many people involved with that. It's really going to blow a lot of people away. It's a big place. Big, big place. Um, very excited. Like we said, as soon as as soon as soon something's signed and, and on paper, we'll be able to announce it. Uh, December Good. 8th, we are going to be with uh, some friends of ours, uh, Dirty Black Halo. We did a CD release party with them when they had it. We were actually supposed to do a couple tour dates with them. Uh, up through the Midwest, and it didn't work out. But um, we're going to be with them over at Foo Bar in St. Pete on uh, December the 8th. And uh, other stuff coming. Uh, we have upcoming shows with Jackal, uh, the Michael Schenker Group, and Bang Tango, all waiting to be confirmed on uh, contract signing. So everything's working for us. Everything's going. Uh, people that have seen us before can expect more of the same. Nothing but loud Sleazy, sexy rock and roll with lights and fog and oh, man, big hair I and tight wait. pants. It's I can't wait be a lot to better. see y'all again <laughs> and to see you up there jumping around on that stage the way you guys do. You, you are so great. <laughs> yeah. you know, you're really fantastic. I don't think y'all know how great you are. I do. I mean, I <laughs> how great are they? You don't have to tell Joey. Tell us how great on one scale, one to ten, baby. Joey, no. Come on, Tennessee. Well, just know that you're loved worldwide. Everybody's watching to see when you're coming back to be at the front of everything again. Uh, we'll be back soon. Very so soon. Hang in there and, and stick with it, guys. We can't wait to see you. And I'm hoping you're going to give us some originals, too. Well, of course. Because I know you almost right. Just. Awesome music. 
We well, of course we do. Always. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I love you all. Much love and you I, I, Thank you. Soon, tell all our fans I up there in Nashville. See you again soon. Yeah. Tell all the fans in Nashville that we love them up there. You know, get out there. I and sure promo. will. We're David waiting J. for y'all to Jay, up this way too. You know it, man. We go out to do a live spot, man. We'll, we could do live up there in Nashville anytime, man. We'll go up there with Rock Slam and really knock it out. I, I know no one will appreciate that one. I, drive, it. Man. <laughs> I just challenged Bye, no guys. one out there. Uh, yeah, he's not bye, even thanks. here, man. He didn't want this is the best show of the week, man. We, we knock it out, Dale, right here on Sunday, man. You know, this is what's happening here in the building with talking the Love about, Dogs. Yeah. And talking about original music, like you were just talking about, you, you wrote that from an experience you had. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, and I think that's where most good original music comes from, you know. Back in the day, you know, in the, in the 80s, the heyday of of hair music like like uh I love and perform uh sometimes we were called posers by the like the death metal guys and the but I, I gotta be honest with you man I write songs and I perform music about things that I know about about you know uh the girl in high school that broke your heart or the the uh the fast car that you had or you know hanging with your friends and getting drunk and uh yeah, they're singing about Satan. I don't know anything about Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I do know about hanging with my friends and getting drunk. I do know about getting my heart broken. I do know about hanging with my friends. And, uh, you know, that's where good music comes from, Lance. You know, mm -hmm. help me out with this, man. You know where you know where it comes from. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm definitely not into the devil and stuff. I like death metal. <laughs> I like the music. I mean, yeah. I love it. But, yeah, I like the things you were talking about, the topics much better. Mostly girls, and that's yeah. what it is. Mostly, yeah, the best songs come from women. Yeah. For sure. No, I'm not naming anybody in particular. They'll give you a lot to write about. <laughs> yeah, that's for yeah. sure. That is for damn sure. Yeah, guess what? You know, on that note, Black Sabbath confirms reunion album release. <laughs> it's their first with Ozzy Osbourne since 1978. Nice. It will be released in April of 2013. Sabbath has also announced the first Australian tour in nearly 40 years. Uh, they'll start, well, again, but they're still without the drummer, Bill Ward. It uh, sucks. Yeah, Bill Ward's out, but he's, he's, he continues to have a contract dispute there. But uh, the report says that uh, the kickoff is April 25th in Brisbane, Australia, and it'll wrap up May 4th in Perth, Australia. So, again, Black, Black Sabbath is on the move with Ozzy Osbourne, but... Without Bill Ward. So, uh, you know, give us one, give us the other, and let's make it happen here. And we're good to hear Black Sabbath and some of that uh, deeper music there. And, and, of course, metal is awesome, always awesome, even though, uh, you know, whatever the lyrics. You know, uh, some of the lyrics, they, 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 they say they sing about this and that, but they're, they're really having a different meaning when they're actually doing it. So it's, it's how the it's, – it's actually – it's kind of like a painting, you know. The artist does the painting and leaves it up to the audience to decide, you know, how to, how to look at it, you know. And the same thing with the metal, you know, it, it takes on an uh, act of its own. Of course, lyrics are lyrics and that, but there's still a lot of, you uh, know, a lot of the music today, you get limited number of word variations, but a lot of line of repetition in that, that but they're done, it's done in a way where the melody is, ver melody is varied in that to where it's very interesting and you have vocal styles that, you know, interact with the melody change, even though they're only saying like six or seven words throughout the whole song. And then but over the another call, baby. Here we go. All right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're hey, on with the love dogs. Who's this? I'm Cat. It's Cassie. Um, I'm 13 years old, and I know Jan, uh, Joey's band, and my mom. My mom. I know your music through my mom, and I wanted to know if you guys would do like an all age performance. Absolutely. You know, all the shows that we do, like. Uh, uh, the benefit for cer for certain is going to be all ages when we do it. Um, I'm under the impression that most of the state theater shows that we do are all ages. Is that correct, Lance? Actually, I'm not 100% sure because they sell alcohol. That's awesome. <laughs> but uh, I think we, they are, though, yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, at the state theater, I think they give you a wristband if you want to Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, those shows are all ages. And, you know, we love – I, I, I got to tell you, it's awesome to hear – Somebody that's 13 yeah. call up and say they love this kind of music because this this music is from my heart. It really is. I love performing this for you guys. Yeah. I love being on stage and singing it. Um, it's what I grew up with. And, I, I mean, I don't want it to die, you know. <laughs> so, you know, somebody that's 13 listening to it, it that means that it's going to it's going to continue. So, 
What are some of your favorite yeah. bands from the 80s? Huh? What are some of your favorite bands? Some of my favorite bands? I like Disturbed. Nice. I like Alice in Change. I like... I like... What? I Static X. I like a lot. I like a lot of those bands and Johnny Cash, Elvis, Johnny Cash, the Beatles, the original yes. Rebel, wow. the Man in Black. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, Cassie. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling in. I really, we really love hearing from you. Thank you. Know, you know, Cassie, you need to go with that, man. You, you're digging a lot of classic artists. Uh, you're 13 years old, man. You, you got a way to go. You know, you want to get into some music there. Dig those uh, classic artists and, and the great styles that they have, and try to tweak it to your style, and, and you go on with it. Maybe, maybe you got you know an artist side to you. You're really into the music scene, man. You can do it. You know. Amen. Amen. Come see yeah. us at the state. It's all ages. I know that is. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Cassie. All right. No problem. All right, getting back to David J. Rocks the J Radio Show with the Love Dogs. So we've got, of course, Joey, we've got Wayne, and we've got Lance. So we've got three of the five uh, players on the Love Dogs for tonight. Getting back to the Rolling Stone uh, magazine report, uh, did you know, and I, I mean, this is very interesting, you know, of course, you know the who's on tour, but Pete Townsend walked off the stage uh, in Sunrise, Florida, uh, yesterday. Did he beat any cops up on the way out? Uh, hopefully, hopefully he didn't bloody his nose in that. You know, that's WTTV. Uh, yeah, no, excuse you, WPTV reports in Sunrise Floor. Of course, Sunrise Floor is a very uh, up and coming, a very uh, sophisticated area. Uh, the show kicked off the Who's first tour in four years. And that was in Sunrise, Florida. So, you know, Florida is really having the area and music at this time of year. November, December, January are very hot months here in Florida with the big mega bands. And everybody wants to be here when it's not a hundred degrees yeah. out. And you know the rest of the country's under snow, so they they all want to be here. You know, it goes back to you know the weather changes, uh, the sky. You know, people meditate. You know, and people like to be in good areas. Where <laughs> I'm you don't meditating see. right now. Even this morning, <laughs> it was so cloudy, but it cleared up. Turn your back a clock. You know, fall back and all this stuff. And I had a lousy night last night, folks. Anybody out there can help me. Sponsors, advertisers, call me up in the during the middle of the night. You know, after midnight, I'd love to talk to you. That's eight one three four two zero eight five three zero. If you got that one, call her seven two seven five nine seven. Four zero two two. Now, Tans Townsend, Pete Sound, when he walked off, he appeared to be unhappy with the sound monitors. And let me tell you, sound monitors, sound equipment for a musician is always a pain in the butt, man, mm. to get it right. On stage, he was yelling because it was too loud. Now, Townsend is 70, uh, 67 years old and has hearing problem. And it was uh, too loud. Over the past two <laughs> decades. It doesn't make sense. So, awesome. The show had technical difficulties. The show was like 80,000 watts. You know, you know we, got, we got a band here, the Love Dogs. Now, how would you handle um, you know, a, a sound a problem like that? Um, uh, here's you know, how we handle We never get any monitors. We never get any monitors. It would be nice to have monitors. It would be nice to have monitors. No. Uh, the way I would handle it, of course, is the way any professional would, and that's I would storm off stage. And <laughs> yeah, Joey <laughs> would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, let's, we're going to hold that for just one moment. We've got another caller. Caller, state your name. Hello. Hello. Who is this? Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is Alex. Alex. Alex Knowles. Yeah. The famous Alex Knowles. No. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's up, Alex? <laughs> Hey, you're on the air, Alex. It's all you, baby. Yeah, baby, come on. Talk it on. Hey, hey, can you hear you? It's Boots here. Hey. Hi, hey. Man. <laughs> What's up, How's Boots? everybody doing? Boots, Pretty good. We're feeling good tonight, honey. How about you? Oh, feeling good, too. Hope yeah. to see you guys play here. Yeah, it's been a long time. we've got some stuff coming. Once it starts, it's going gonna, it's gonna to roll. It's going to roll. What's your name, honey? All right. What's your name? This is Boots. name is Boots. 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 Man, she sounds like she's feeling better than all of us. <laughs> hey, man, Boots you got to save some of that, I'll tell you. <laughs> Boots traveled all the way to Daytona to see us. That's right. Yeah. Oh, wow. Much much love and appreciation there, for sure. All right. Keep rocking. You got you it, too. Girl. All right. So, again, we were talking about, uh, you know, if you hit, a, uh, you know, of a, of a band, as a band, you know, you have a sound problem, you know, Pete Townsend, of course, walking off, and that's a major <laughs> impact on the show. Uh 
I love, I love dogs. And <laughs> <laughs> there we go, baby. Down on 41. Joey, do you get $500 is, each, time? each time? Each <laughs> time. Oh, God, man. I, you know, but, uh, you know, how, how a band handles uh, sound travel uh, when you're on stage and you've got a, an audience before you. Uh, and we were getting at, uh, well, of course, Joey wants to throw the monitors away. <laughs> and you, no, uh, uh, yeah, what honestly, else? What else? What, no, honestly, what, I mean, we've all, anybody that's played in, in a live situation has run into sound problems and and really what you do is is you work through it i mean yeah. you, mm-hmm. you you there's signals that you have between you and the sound guy and it, it, as soon as they realize it they're working on it so when you're doing a show people are there have paid money to see you they don't really they're not really concerned about the sound problems they just want to see the show go on is what it is uh and so you know do the do the best you can they're, they're gonna they're working on it they're gonna get it fixed i've seen you know some i played with some major major acts big professionals that have just you know lost their mind at sound problems i, I literally saw someone pick up a monitor and throw it off the stage one time and yeah you know, i just uh get over it you know yeah. everybody's there to help you everybody wants to put on a good show it's it's just something you have to deal with you know, I, and I've had, had all kinds of sound problems, man. Another caller. Caller, state your name. <laughs> Alex Rose. Alex. There you are, What's man. up, brother? <laughs> How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. I just stopped at a truck stop in Orlando. I had to go take a leak. But, uh, <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good to know. Right, that's good, man. <laughs> Leaking is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot better yeah, I now than cigar, I was two man. minutes ago. Hey, you gotta give me one of those Cuban cigars. I, I, I was dead to beat, man. Uh, for people that don't know Alex, Alex is quite an accomplished uh, musician. Yeah. Maybe there was free beer. <laughs> That's right. Where's that beer keg in there? Alex is quite the accomplished but, guitarist dude, himself. Party so. time. Daytona Beach. Yeah, yeah. We'll be over there soon. And uh, you know we're going to find you, man. You know you got to come out and see oh, us. Sure. And we're going to be... Uh, We'll, we'll give you a backstage pass, and you can come back and drink with us. Although, you know, we all are light, very light drinkers. Right, yeah, <laughs> you butt light, so. man, all day long. Um, hey, thank you, Cole. Thank you. Uh, from light, light drinkers, what, in daylight hours from <laughs> 6 in the afternoon? I only, yeah, I only drink when there's enough light to find alcohol. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> stumbling through the darkness. Where is it? Crawling into the bathroom. <laughs> I've but, yeah, man, I just uh, I heard you guys. I was on the way up here from uh, Melbourne. I'm in Orlando right now, and I was sweet, watching sweet. your interview on my phone. And I figured I'd give you guys a call when I got out of the car. Are we cute? So, uh, <laughs> no. so make a small talk on air, like no big deal. Amen. Just, Amen. Um, talking about my leaking habits, talking about <laughs> drinking habits. You just, all these you just things. wanted a shout out, man. That's uh, that's all right. I love that. You want me to ring the bell for you? Please. Ring sure. the bell. All right, man. Here it goes. Ready? Ring the bell. Oh, right. yeah! Is the winner down here? You know, that doesn't seem like a lot to most people, but this was completely out of my reach when the show started. So I'm very happy about it. <laughs> hey, guys? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hello? Hey. Hello? You're on there. You're on there, Carl. Go ahead and talk on. Uh-oh. Hello? All right, thank you very much, caller. We'll go on here. Uh, again, I mentioned uh, I had some sound difficulties, uh, you know, in my early days. And then, I mean, I'd go around to the open mics, and then, uh, let me tell you, they, I mean, a lot of them would try to sabotage a damn mixer and that, you know. And I, I had to tweak my guitar, like here. I mean, I'd play my guitar in a way that I could get the best sound out of a bullshit sound guy. The guy wouldn't even stay with the artist, man. He'd just turn it on. There she is. Oh, come on in here, man. Oh, hell yeah, man. We, oh, okay. Well, anyway, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, anyway. we, I, 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 we got next week. Next week for that man. I, <laughs> but anyway, you know, uh, tweaking the sound and I mean, I, I've broken strings uh, alive, not not too often, but and finished the song. You, and it's just like Joey says, you, the, the audience wants the show. You got to go on with the show, and somehow you got to tweak that sound to get it to where you get the sound that you want from it. You know, and uh, you stay with it, man. But you know, Pete Townsend, Pete Townsend, man, he's like God on on it. You know, so what? I mean, when he walks off, you know, there's something wrong. But it was probably a health reason since he's got a hearing problem. It was probably he was afraid he was going to blow his ears and he wouldn't be able to play at all. So, you know, we feel for Pete Townsend, man, and that whole thing down in Sunrise. That was their first leg of the uh, uh, tour and that uh, for the uh, from from more years ago. So uh, he was unhappy. He was unhappy with the sound. So let's get it right, guys. And um, 
Thank you for the band, you know, interacting with that. And, and again, you know, you got to make it happen. Keep the show going and don't mm. stop the show because the sound's bad, you know. That's right. Keep it going. Entertain the audience. You know, and the audience is the paying people, and that. And let me, I, you know, like Jack White, he he does a negative thing for the audience. That is very interesting. I know one a crowd. You know, I I did a rock set, and this was up at Bobo's International, and that is a college place, and that, and they've got all kinds of folks in there from different countries. And when I when I finished the set, man, nobody applauded at all, man, and they're usually bouncing off the damn walls, and that. And I, and I was ticked like hell. I said, you know, I I really felt what. Jack White fell. I said, well, I, I, and no I love. said, what no the love. hell's yeah. going on? I did. I did. I was ticked. I was cursing them, those people out there. I don't think they understood English. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. And I was cursing them. I said, what the hell's their dad out here, man? I never experienced that before. And that. So again, you know, artists, see, you know, we see all kinds of things when we do live and that, you know, we got to play with a lot of things, but you know, that's what live is all about. I hate recording, but I love the live because you never know what's going to go on. You I know, love being live. I love being live. Every show is different. Uh, the play off the audience is different. The the band members are, are in different moods. It's music is is an emotional thing, and it's an exchange. It's a, it's an exchange between you and who you're playing it for, and, and who you're playing it with. It's 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 beautiful. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry right now on live radio. Before we uh, before we end up running out of time, I want to tell everybody out there uh, that knows and loves us. Thank you so much for tuning in. Watching us, uh, calling in the ones that got through. For those of you who are listening that don't know us, we are the Love Dogs. That's L U V D O G Z. And we are a dirty, sleazy, big hair, tight ass rock band. Check us out on Facebook. Uh, we love you. Thank you. And this is David J. Rocks the J Radio Show here on Rock Slam Radio, which is part of TalkWad.com, International Global Media. Tampa Bay and 55 countries around the world. Uh, and uh, let me tell you, this damn show, I want it moving out there, too. I don't want it sitting in no damn archive. <laughs> this show is too damn good. We got too many good people for it to be sitting down there. It needs to be promoted out there. Advertisers and sponsors, you start calling in. My number is 813-420-8530. Studio number is 727-597-4022. We're about to wind down. We got about six minutes. But I want to tell, talk about that was one a quick hour, man. Oh yeah, man, really fast. you know when, when you're yeah. it goes by. You know this is such a great group of guys, man. The Love Dogs here. You know Wayne wouldn't shut up. That's the yeah. problem. I mean, he he yeah, took yeah. over the whole interview. Uh, I don't know. Anything. I don't know, man. You know, damn Wayne. Why don't That's you a drummer? problem I have. You Goddamn something. drummers. I, what I, the hell is wrong with you people? I, I, There's yeah. nothing in here to hit. I need sticks. <laughs> <laughs> You got anything to share, Wayne? <laughs> Wait, talk, <laughs> God damn it. Don't ask sorry, him, Don't I'm ask sorry. him, man. Put those things back oh. on. Hey, you're missing a phone call. <laughs> oh, look, we have a call. Hey, turn hey. around. Hey, caller, you're on the air. No, that guy what the hell? His... Oh, hey, dude, that, the that phone's ringing, man. There, man. <laughs> that, that, I, well, anyway, yeah. let me, I got one more article. Now, it has to do with the... Uh, you know, it has to do with Lindsey Buckingham uh, wanting a, a new Fleetwood Mac album. You know, Fleetwood Mac is coming together. And right now, you've, Fleetwood Mac is John McVeigh, Mick Fleetwood, Stevie Nicks, and Lindsey Buckingham. Christy, uh, Christine McVeigh is not part of it. There's only four members right now. And so they're talking about a studio reunion. Uh, the last one they had was 2003, last album, Say You Will, okay, 2003. Fleetwood Mac. Uh, a massive 2013 tour right now. Fleetwood Mac, th those four, uh, John McVeigh, Mick Fleetwood, Stevie Nicks, of course, and we know Stevie Nicks comes through and she's doing her solo thing, and Lindsey Buckingham, awesome Lindsey Buckingham, great guitar composer, man. He's like a, a orchestrational maestro when he does his thing on stage. And that. Uh, they're rehearsing uh, in February of 2013 for the tour, so we don't have any exact tour dates for the, the four members of the Fleetwood Mac. Uh, that is so awesome. Of course, you remember Rumors. They're awesome. They're a stellar uh, album that just broke all the f records and that, you know, and Stevie Nicks being such a mysterious uh, vocalist. Little Vixen. She's a little Vixen. Oh, man. <laughs> the big, big Vixen, big actually. Vixen. <laughs> She's the big Vixen. <laughs> and, of course, we know, yeah, the love is The phone's ringing. The dude's The phone was ringing anyway. I got to call him. We're going to wake up the Shit. sound guy yeah. any moment oh, now. And he's yeah. He ain't even the there. Hey, yeah. man, get that mixer going in there. He's running he another didn't, studio. He didn't have any beer can yeah. either. He's got, a girl in the, he's got a girl in there with him. I'm sorry. No one's answering. 
<laughs> to the people that are calling, we're sorry that no one's answering the phone. Why? For Why am I doing this? Why do they make me do this? Please I lay. call back. <laughs> call back. Is there a caller out there? Oh yeah, we missed two of them. David J. We missed David more than two. Show. Okay, we missed a whole bunch of phone right. calls. Again, Fleetwood Mac. Thank you guys for calling. Massive. in. We yeah, love thank you. you. Thank you very much. Yeah. You bet. And, uh, you know, we'd like to see them get back together again uh, for the great music. And of course, we've got three of the five members of the Log Do- Love Dogs here. Uh, from, are you, you're from Tampa Bay, or, or is it, uh, what, what city do you, are you actually You know, we, we hail from Central Florida, actually. We're from all parts of uh, the greater Bay Area, I guess you would say. Um, uh, St. Pete, Clearwater, uh, Tarpon Springs. We, we come from all over the place. So <laughs> we, we merged. Into one. There's our caller. Coercive unit. <laughs> All right, caller, you're on the air. We're merging, merging. Come on, my caller. Who are you, babe? Mister. Wow. Hey, caller, come on, T- talk to us. You're on the air. Imagine that, Dan. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's the mystery Imagine here. That. Prank call. Hey, did you know Jim Morrison has been spotted and Pierre Lutetien in Paris uh, in his graveyard? So hopefully uh, Jimbo is out there right now talking through the mic. Talk to us, Jimbo. I've been doing some doors for like four years, and I was going to kick in a little bit of a break on through. But let me tell you, I want to hold up there. And why do I want to hold up? I want to make a major announcement. Is there a caller out there? Caller out there? No. Hey, hello. Hey, all right. Hey, there there go, he is. Okay. Hey, Lance. Hey. Why call in and say, man, you kick ass up on that stage, dude. Saw you in Daytona. Love you. You fucking rock, brother. Thanks, Hell bro. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much. And the best is man, yet to Man, you're come. up on that. Man, you got, you, got, you got a lot of presents up there. I love you, man. That, your fucking guitar is awesome. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm going to have more room in this time, too. You guys will actually let me take a little longer solo. I mean, I've got <laughs> the boss cracking the whip on me. <laughs> Trying to make me play Fuck like Tracy yeah, Guns. Yeah, the face one time. Push him back and play a solo, brother. I want to. Yeah, I, I can do a lot more than you've seen. Trust I'm gonna, me. I'm going to yeah, give you yeah, plenty of time he's, to take he's, solos. He's because... a little stage hog. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> awesome, too. There's you no know? such thing as a stage yeah. hog. That's a big stage, man. There's room for every every big head we got up there. Hey, every, you know, is. Everybody's that's a what a front man's about. But you got to back him up a little bit, man. You're awesome on that guitar, man. Well it, brother. Thank you very much, sir. Awesome call. Thank you. All right. Y'all have a good one. You too. Yes, thanks for calling. Thanks. Yeah, man, that's always, um, you know, it makes you feel good when those callers out there are really oh, tuned yeah. into your music. Yeah. And, you know, the Love Dogs are really great, man. They, they got a great sound. That call uh, ruled, actually. <laughs> 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 and, you know, it's so indicative of the callers calling in. And, and, you know, this I have to admit, this show, we've had more callers interaction from the, the folks in the audience ever. You know, it and, makes me wet. Honestly, <laughs> and it's amazing. It just, <laughs> it's just a tribute to the band, man, and, and what all the the popularity of the Love Dogs, man. You know, what do you got to say about that, Wayne? Uh, Beats that sticks. Hey. That makes him what? Beats the sticks. Man. He needs the damn bell over here. It makes tears run down his legs. That's what it means. Yeah. I feel like I'm on the bus. Somebody when I hit set that a moisture ball off in my panties. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Go check it, Wayne. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Hello, FCC calling. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. No on air. a further note, no man. Hey, hey, oh, I want to make a plug for Jack's joint. I mean, I don't, I want to advertise a whole lot. Jack's joint over there on Clearwater on 60 West uh, Tuesday nights. They got a great open mic as part of Tampa Bay Music and Production Group. That's Steve-O, Steve-O Hernandez, and don't forget Wendy LaForce is the main vocalist. Wendy is a hot lady. Steve-O. Yeah, and let me tell you, we had uh, Tommy McCoy. Uh, we had some great blues guitar players uh, last Tuesday, man. And let me tell you, Tommy McCoy's been playing for over 50 free years. I'm going to be playing his CD next week in that. Uh, he gave it to me, and I you know, I went on just prior to him, and, and you know, I've been doing this. I mean, it's like blood, sweat, and tears for me in that. And when when Tommy came on, I thought to myself, I can't fucking play, man. You know, it really blew me away how good Tommy McCoy is, man. He's like an orchestrational blues guitarist that's got it everything right in over 50 years experience live and that and recording. So look forward to the CD next uh, next Sunday there. On another note, uh, Ron Wood 
Everybody knows Ron uh, Wood. I love Ron Wood. Hey, man, awesome. he's engaged. He's engaged. Again. Oh, man, I want to do some tidbits there. Again. To a 34-year-old lady. How old's Ron? God bless him. Isn't he like 80? Man. How no, old's Ron? No. He's like 68, 65. I bet you. 65. 65. He just looks like he's 80. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they've been going together for six months. The lady's name is Sally Humphreys. Is that the correct term? Yeah. He's going together? She's a UK <laughs> theater producer, but they've known each other for a long time. So Ron Wood, uh, he, he's... He, He's having fun there. Uh, he's got, a th- <laughs> and again, uh, the Rolling Stones they have four major dates this year. Okay. We've got two in uh, Newark at the Prudential Center, and two in London at the O2 uh, Arena. So you know the, the Stones are active, uh, and they, sometimes they they put an impromptu show on like they did in Paris uh, a week ago for six six hundred people. But mm-hmm. so if you're right right place at the right time, mm-hmm. but you know like Paris, London, New York, or. Uh, you know, now, you know, in Newark, you know, with the Sandy disaster, uh, we're going to ask ourselves how, what, what's going to take place with the, the Rolling Stones shows there. So hopefully everything is, is set there, and it'll be a great show for the American side here. Now I'm hearing a couple things. we got a caller. Caller in. We're winding down. Caller, you're on the air. Hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. I have a question for Joey. Okay. Um, I was just curious, who are your biggest musical influences? Oh, that's easy. Um, my life changed when I saw David Lee Roth on the back of the first Van Halen cover. I decided that that was the guy I wanted to be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Him, of course, Kiss. You know, we mentioned Kiss earlier. Uh, my earlier days were, were spent as a big uh, Kiss maniac. Uh, blues-based rock, Aerosmith. You know, a lot, a lot of the guys that have been around forever, I loved that. Uh, anything that, that was entertaining when you watch it, Poison, Motley Crue, uh, guys that put on a show, guys that want to that go that extra mile and throw that on top of the musicianship. Uh, anybody like that, I, I'm totally in awe of. Emulate and uh, act like whenever I can. <laughs> <laughs> All the good stuff. Awesome. None of the bad stuff. None of the bad stuff, though, you know. Thank you for that question. Very good question. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now, uh, I was mentioned about the the uh, Jim Morrison vision uh, and his great friend apparently chased in Paris and that by my main name Meisner, who's a historian for Rolling Stone magazine. Now, uh, I, I've seen that DVD, and if you go to uh, Rolling Stone magazine and pull, pull it up, and that you, you will see it. It is a little faded in that, but it is quite interesting. And, and we always ask ourselves, did uh, Jim Morrison break on through in that? So I want to do that song. So I was looking at a little time here. Uh, I want to do break on through on a guitar and try to make it happen. Uh, again, I've been doing doors for like for four years now, and, and, and there's been a spiritual thing uh, for this. I don't know where it's coming from, but I keep getting messages about this. All right. All right, caller, hold on one minute. I'm going to do a song, and then you can come on in just a moment here. I'm going to do a little song in tribute to the doors. Well, you know the day destroys the night. Night divides the night. Try to run, try to hide. Break on through to the other side. Break on through now. Well, we chased our pleasures here. Dug our treasures there. But you still recall the time we cried. Everybody loves my baby She gets high She gets high 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 I found an island in your arms A country in your eyes Arms that chain, eyes that lie, break on through to the other side, break on roll now. One more time. Well, we chased our pleasures here, dug our treasures there. 
Can you still recall the time we cried? Everybody loves my baby. She gets high. She gets high. Break on through now. All right, that was inspiring. I it need a, I need a little bit of organ on this one, man. A little menzurk, and you know, that goes drums. But uh, I don't know where it's coming from, man. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm headed that way too. So. You know, let, let's the spirits go and try to connect with that universal up there. And music makes it happen, man. You know, I don't know. I'm kind of running out. I got a lot to do, but, you know, this is a spiritual moment uh, in the time on the show. I mean, I do meditation too, man, and I really like to get into it uh, and try to tap in to something that's higher up there. Higher, you know, and I mean... Not so much uh, substance uh, oriented as opposed, and we kid about this, but I mean spiritual, man. And that's where the power is. And that's where people like Steven Tyler has got it, man. A very focused individual, very spiritual, and really, you know, reaching for higher, higher limits in the universe that become unlimited. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we got any more callers out there? Yeah. I think we got one on the line right now. We got one on the line. I'm sorry I held, held it up there. Uh, but again, you know, we do get into a, a deep mode on, on, on the day. And, and call, you're on the air. Hi, my name is Sean. Joey, when are you going to get a Jack Daniels sponsorship? <laughs> that would be the end of me, bro. <laughs> you mean you don't have one? <laughs> you mean the end of us? <laughs> the, only, the only reason I'm still walking around is because they refuse to sponsor me. They don't want anything to do with me. <laughs> it's like I wear the shirts, I drink the drink, you know? It's, uh, it's, nothing, it's not that I'm not working on it, brother. I got to tell you, I am working on it. You, you probably helped me... Uh, if this is Sean, you probably helped me uh, uh, kill a couple of those bottles in your day. Yeah, we have. <laughs> <laughs> and we might do one in uh, two weeks. Yeah, well, you know what? If that happens, then uh, more for me, though. That's all I want. You know, that's all <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you'd be buying it because it'd be my birthday party. Uh, okay, man. I'll buy you a drink. Or I'll give you one that somebody's bought for me. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And bring Lance along with you. Yeah, me and Lance are inseparable. We're like the Terror Twins. <laughs> A lot of people mistake us for each other. If, if he's not holding his, his yeah. guitar... Like, we look exactly like <laughs> We do. It's astounding. I mean, I don't know if you, if you can see that. Ex- on the... Except for the, uh, you get your hair done and he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he does he my has, hair. He has that hair. <laughs> the funniest part yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Secrets aired on live TV. <laughs> hey, man, we got the Love Dogs here today. Yeah, man, great band here. What else out there, Carl? What else do you know? Tell us about it, you know. <laughs> He's gone. Every time I say that, man, they go dead. Death face yeah. on his mouth. He's gone. Oh, you have a good one, Sean. Hello, hello. Take it easy, brother. Hey, all right. Okay, so this is David J. Rocks Today Radio Show with the Love Dogs. And, uh, we can go as long as we want, man. See, I, oh, that's I, what she said. I, I'll ah. tell you what, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, Love Dogs, what do you want to do, man? You want to go a little bit longer? You want to wind it down here? Uh, you want to you give your final promo date to Nat? You know, let the fans know where you're going to be at, you know, what's happening? Well, I've, you know, I'm, I've hogged this all up. I want, I want to get my bros because, uh, you know, I, I love these guys <laughs> in, in a non-homosexual way. Well, exactly, I, man. I just want to say that, you know, since we started rehearsals with the Love Dogs, I think um, it's been going great. Uh, you know, all the bands I've been in in the past, um, you know, you, you learn to feel if it's going to work or if it's not going to work or how you, how you guys gel together. And these guys, they made it, they made me feel so welcome, like coming into a family. And rehearsals are going great. And I just can't wait to get out there and play and show everybody what we're doing because we got some we got some good stuff in store for you amen lance a lot take it take it home brother i feel i did a pretty good fair uh talking (laughs) (laughs) leave me alone joey get the fuck away from me (laughs) 
I'm happy to be here, and thanks for everybody that called in. Yeah, for sure. definitely. And uh, the leash is off, so the best is yet to come. The Amen. Other band was, you know, good, but this one's going to be a lot, lot, lot better and more fun. You know, I, I hear a lot about family uh, on the show and that, and how the musicians really connect with family uh, and the vibes. You know, a lot of them going to uh, spiritual events that get them into the music scene. I mean, I'm not saying centers or I mean whatever that is. You know, it's all good in that, and and it connects with something out there. You know, and and, and some of the greatest artists. All you know, you look at Elvis Presley, man. You go to his gospel set. You know, I mean, it just breaks you up, man. And it's just so amazing, and and family is so important in in the music scene with the rock community in that we we love the independent artists here in tampa bay man uh you know i'm always supporting them getting out in the venues or you know all around in the area in the ebor and up in the usf area and you know moving down into crystal river and so forth and the love love dogs are everywhere man tell us some of the places you guys are at man well we've got upcoming shows at uh food bar in st pete uh we've got uh we actually had to anybody that was uh, looking forward to the brass mug gig uh, that unfortunately has been canceled uh, due to a band member not being able to make it. Sorry, but uh, all right, we got a caller on the line. Hold on, I'm sorry, Joey. I'll just get this caller through. Just... Oh, yeah, man, they're having fun there. Caller. Yes. Turn down the computer. Turn down your computer. I'll tell you what. I'll just get away from it. How's that? All right. There you go. Is that better? That's yes. better. It's all you. Okay. Hey, Joey, this is your brother, Jim. Hey, hey what's hey. up, Jim? Lance, man, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Hey, did the Steelers win today? Hey, I want to end this up with one thing. Uh, <laughs> I guess everybody I out there that, hey, the that, that ball, loves man. Joey and Lance and the old band, the new band, the Love Dogs, y'all be paying attention. We're coming out with www.lovedogs. Dot com soon. Yes, We're and this one's going to work. Yes. <laughs> this will actually right. work when you hit it. <laughs> this one will work. Thank nice. you. <laughs> yep. Man, that's awesome, man. Right. You know what? You get your own website and everything. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. That's We're, awesome. Uh, All right, get, getting back to the dates there, Joey. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have uh, January dates coming up. Uh, like I said, uh, until the uh, we, we appear with a lot of uh, nationally known, internationally recognized acts, and until they... Uh, you know, they can call and tell us to be on standby, but until they actually put their name on the paper, we don't have an actual date for it. So we will be doing several uh, big shows at the State Theater in St. Pete. Uh, thanks to J-Rock and and the guys there. We, uh, Patty. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Patty. Uh, those guys are awesome. Mm -hmm. I love them. They, they've been so supportive of us from, from day one. Always. And uh, we love playing there. Absolutely love it. One of the best shows I ever played in my life was at the State Theater with Jackal. Yeah. And... Uh, Actually, that was one of the places I actually got the drunkest in my life, too. <laughs> really? Yeah. You, too. So man. you just thought no, it was your that best. Bourbon Street gig was probably the drunkest you <laughs> ever been on stage. What are you talking about? I was Bourbon. totally sober yeah. then. <laughs> <laughs> we got pictures. <laughs> that was the night of the infamous Jack Daniels belt. Yeah, yeah. That this was didn't work out too good for anybody. <laughs> it worked out really good for me. Yeah. <laughs> the funniest part of the whole night is when I'm wearing a whole belt of Jack Daniels and I ask people to bring me up shots. Yeah. And then they get it, too. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah, no, that's not a good thing. Fun, fun, fun. But you know, thing. on a serious note, man, we here at Rock Slam, we want the love dog signed, man. We want them signed to a contract here, and we want them going places. You know, the love dogs has got it happening. They've got a huge fan base. This is the first show that we've had a huge amount of callers in here. I'm very pleased about that, and it just shows the popularity of the band, man. We want them signed now. Get them out there, capital, whatever you takes. And I want advertisers, and I want sponsors. You get down here, 813-420-8530. That's my number. Call me anytime. I will work it out with you. Also, I have some friends that are in the business that might want to negotiate here. <laughs> I don't want this show on no damn shelf either, man. I want it out there in the public because we're making it happen for things that are going around Tampa Bay. And, of course... 55 countries around the world. Whatever that is, man, that's like outer space. But anyway, right here in Tampa Bay, man, that's where it's happening here. Now, we got the love dogs on. We want them signed, right, Joey? Absolutely. Okay, we got any ideas about that? You got any uh, labels that you're, you know, you're working towards? You done any, any recording there in that you area? Know, with this being a new project uh, that uh, basically has just started up from an old project, uh, we came from something that was very successful. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we do have all the same inroads that we had before. We have all the same connections. We have all the same interest from people that we had before. So there are feelers out. There are people that know about us in the right places. And it's just, you know, it, 
everybody talks about a contract like it's the end all and be all, but, but basically what it is, it's, it's a meeting of minds. And so we're looking for a meeting of minds with somebody. And if that can happen, then that's going to, that's going to be good. And if it can't, you know what, we're, we're happy as hell just rocking the hell out of Tampa Bay. So. Tampa Bay is a great yeah. place for mm -hmm. music, man. Great place for, for artists here, you know. You know, it kind of touched me uh, on that Ernigan. Uh, you know, Led Zeppelin's got a, a tribute uh, performance uh, for his uh, foundation that he sponsors scholarships for young and up-and-coming uh, artists. Of course, Ahmet Ernigan, the co-founder of Atlantic Records, 1947, man. This man was just, he was a mentor to some of the greatest of Rolling Stones. I mean, people come out everywhere for Ahmet Ernigan. He, I believe it was a 2002, he passed in that. But, you know, I know he's looking down on the rock scene right now. And he was just, he, he was a very interesting character and a genius in his own right in the music world and that. So, uh, you know, what we need are people like that, that really support the music, put it together in a productive business fashion. And then help the young artists, help the bands get together on the label and get produced in that, you know, so a large mass of people can understand what the, the music's about. And then and, but bring that vibe to the people to make it a, a good thing and a spiritual thing, you know, to bring the, make the world a little bit better out there, man, because we need it out there. And let me tell you, American rock and roll is number one. It absolutely yeah. is. All countries of the world, you bet yeah, they it, all want it. And, and what we do here, I, I mean, I don't want I, I don't like the politics. And I tell you, on Facebook, I, what they've been saying about this and that, it, it irks me. But it's the idea that overall, as American, as a country that we are, we have the greatest blessings that any country will ever have. We need to protect that. Whoever is our leader uh, is going to be in a position to make it happen. And God bless America always here. A rock and roll makes it happen. Rock Slam Radio, baby. I'm voting for Raven. I'm not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he didn't get to you with the money yet. No. No. All right. That's all right. <laughs> all right, guys. We're about ready to rock it out. This is a David J. Rocks the J Radio Show with the Love Dogs of Tampa Bay, all around Central Florida. We're about ready to shut it down here. We've had our callers, we love you. We yeah. love the yeah, audience. Absolutely. We, we want it going. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, man. And it's about time. And we going down too. Yeah. Mama put my guns in the ground. I can't shoot them anymore. That long black cloud is coming down. 